takeoff. Attitude mode. Fly with caution. Home point updated. Well, if you're like me and take off and fly away before the home point's updated at the takeoff site, DJI has made it much easier for you to reset the home point by simply just touching the return the home icon, which will pull up the same screen that you used to be able to get to through the settings menu in the safety tab. Right now, I'm gonna update my home point here and I'm gonna do the controller. I'm gonna say okay to put this screen away, just simply touch anywhere on the screen. And now we can see by the lower left hand corner of the screen here that the home point has been updated to the remote control or the RC2 here. As far as the home point's concerned, this is a great thing that uh, if we take off and go out over a mountain or something and we forget to let it do that, I myself have been guilty of it actually flying out over a lake in the past flying along and then the home point would update and it's like I certainly wouldn't want it to land in the water itself. I do a lot of real estate photography so I actually use the home point as an icon to keep track of what I want to film or take photos of. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to fly over to some water tanks that are here on the RC Park property. We're going to update the home point and then we're going to fly away and then we'll be easily able to see it. Since we're using such a small screen, it's hard to see an object that you want centered into your film. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fly over to the water tanks. So now that, I'm, now that I'm at the water tanks, you don't have to be low like I am. You could actually be 100 feet in the air long as your X and Y position to the earth is set to where you want it. So what I'm gonna do is tap on that same icon again. I'm gonna update the home point. And at this time, I'm gonna do aircraft and I'm gonna say okay. Home point so now the home point's updated there. So what I'm gonna do is actually turn around and I'm gonna fly up and over here. And this is a much safer way of doing it as far as I can actually use the camera that I'm seeing on the screen to pilot the aircraft instead of relying on backing up, keeping it in frame the whole time, and relying on the vision sensors here on this Mini 4 Pro. So if I actually turn around, we can see that the home point's stuck there and it's on the left side of the screen. And now the home point, you can see it's in front of where we wanna take our picture. So if we were filming this, we have that as a marker on the screen. I use this a lot of time in real estate photography, especially if the homes in the subdivision are placed very close together. I can take off, fly into the front yard or, or even over top of the roof on the home, set my home point to that. And that way, if I have to look up in the sky at my aircraft, uh, for safety sake or something like that, and then back down to the controller, I don't lose track of the home that I'm actually taking pictures of. So as you see here, this works as a really good marker. That's all I have on Home Point today. I really hope this helps you out with your videography and photography using your, your drone. In this case, it's the Mini 4 Pro. I really do appreciate you all watching and we'll definitely catch you on the next one.